Brent Helton still being very efficient in terms of his pitches today. Bouncer from Baber to Acuff, 360, double play, 4-6-3. And the Animals win the inning. They've won three in a row. They lead three points to one. An unbelievable trick play, double play between Dustin Baber and Chase Acuff and Brett Helton with another quick frame in this ball game. Two minutes and 19 seconds. All it takes for him to get three outs. They might drag tomorrow afternoon. Bouncer backhanded by Swan. He goes between the legs with the bounce and Helton able to beat Hosley wow. to the bag. How about that trick play? What a play. An aggressive play by Jason Swan. Fields that one on a hop very well and still goes between the legs and Brett Helton with enough speed to get to the bag to beat Hosley there. Another barrel from Bill. This one into the mitt of Bloomer who goes between the legs. Seat across the diamond. And Leroy is retired, although two for two in quality at bats. Good play by Bryson Bloomer to start this sixth inning. Good stop going between the legs. It's just the right banana ball feel and knew that he could get that first out quickly for Brett Helton. Last Wednesday night in Baton Rouge, this time he gets Jackson Olsen to fly it to Reese Hampton behind the back. No eyes necessary. Seventh trick play of the tour for number six. It's an Ichiro Suzuki type trick play from Reese Hampton, fielding that one behind his back with no look. It is becoming one of his signature plays out there in center field. And of course, he is leading all party animals outfielders in trick plays this season. We'll chop this one to Swan. He goes between the legs, flips it to Gillespie. Hot shot on a hop to Dustin Baber, who goes between the legs, works a dribble in as well. If his mom was scoring the game, it'd be two trick plays, but keyword there, trick play. Two tricks, one play. Still for Baber, he is leading the party animals with 26 now on the season. The state and St. John's River State before that, I mean, he's a talented pitcher. He gets stilts to bounce it to Acuff, who bounces it to Baber! who bounces it to Bloomer, double trick play to retire Dakota Stilts All Britain. A great play by the party animals to get out of the frame and for Zach Blankenship, it's a one minute and 33 second inning for the lefty and we're going world's fastest inning here. Christian Deerman taking the mound against Jordan Hussein. Comes in for six, seven and eight. For the Nanners, that ball smoked off the bat of Eric Jones Jr. How about Reese Hampton? Under the leg, corrals it in the crotch, and he comes away with his eighth trick play of the season. A really difficult spot to make a trick play catch. I think it even surprised Reese that he got the ball in glove there. Thing and go crazy. Yeah, I'm, in the, I'm in the podcast part of my life, but tunes would be great too. Jordan Hussein. First trick play of his banana ball career goes between the legs to nab the speedy Howell. And this is on his very first defensive attempt as well. Unreal banana ball field from Jordan Hussein, who I know if he steps into an everyday role for these party animals, will rack up trick plays. From earning the first point available today, this one chopped to Chase Acuff. He goes between the legs. Swan over there for the pick. Two trick plays for the Animals. They win the inning one run to nothing and lead the game by the very same score in points. Eight pitches for Sean Fluke in the first inning and one minute and 41 seconds. To Swan over at first. And a hot shot grabbed by Acuff between the leg, 360. Sparkling trick play for Acuff. Fantastic trick play from Chase Acuff. Makes a phenomenal baseball play to start and then realizes that he can still go between his legs and fire out David Ray Meadows. They had walked off the second inning with a home run. Looked like he had extra bases there. Ends up being robbed of them. And how about Tanner Thomas? He grabs his second trick play of the tour as he snags that under his leg. Great work by Tanner Thomas. And another thing the party animals focus on is getting trick plays after you've gotten the first out in an inning. And you see Tanner executing that 
Well, Bill, a banana ball veteran, is also aware that just going to first base probably the right play. You're playing a base runner's game at this point as Chase Acuff goes bounce pass to Dustin Baber who throws across to first base. And that's a double play for Drew Gillespie and the party animals. To their golden batter. Como se dice party. If you liked that video, <laughs> I sure did. You should click this one, or that one, or both of them, or as many of them as you want. Party on.